animal clowns from National Geographic Society. Roar! A big male lion lets out a yell when a cub nips him. Although the loud roar may mean ouch, the big lion is not hurt. Cubs often play by gently nipping other cubs and grown up lions. Only adult male lions have mates, the fluffy hair around their necks. All lined up, these meerkats seem to be waiting for a school bus, but they are just letting the sun warm them. While they rest, they watch for enemies. A young grizzly bear enjoys the warm sunshine too. The playful bear rolls from side to side, reaching for its toes. Ooh, the wrinkled face of a moray eel pokes out from a hiding place. Its body is shaped like a snake. The eel slips between rocks underwater and waits for fish to eat. Oh dear, I forgot to comb my feathers, an emu seems to squawk. The big bird runs fast, but cannot fly. A panda finds a cozy spot in a tree. Would a clown wear a costume that looks like this panda's coat? If you pretend a little, you can see many animals in circus costumes. The crowned crane has a bright face and neck. Stiff feathers on its head look like a fan. The feathers help it attract another crane for a mate. A green saddle design helps protect the small saddle back caterpillar. The design warns enemies, such as birds, to watch out. What if a bird still comes near? The caterpillar has stinging spines. If the bird takes a bite, the spines will teach it to stay away. Look at these funny bills. The toucan uses its big bill to pick fruit or to grab insects and spiders to eat. This pink bird is called a spoonbill. Its bill is shaped like a spoon with a long handle. To catch fish and other food, the bird swishes its bill from side to side in the water. The shoe bill stork was named for its bill. Some people think the bill looks like a shoe. Do you? The bird uses its bill to feel around in the muddy waters for food. Its curved bill seems to give the shoe bill a big smile. A chameleon's tongue is like a jack-in-the-box. It pops out suddenly. This tongue catches a fly. Usually the tongue stays folded inside the chameleon's mouth. When the lizard sees a meal, the tongue springs out. The sticky tip grabs the fly and the tongue springs back. Which spot is the real eye of this young damselfish? It's the spot by the mouth. The other spot is an eye spot. It may confuse an enemy so the fish can escape. Big eyes help the night monkey see after dark. At night, it searches for food. It rests during the day. Ooh, animal noses come in many sizes and shapes. This big snout looks like an elephant's trunk. It belongs to a male elephant seal. The seal opens his mouth and roars. You might call this small animal a rabbit with a carrot nose, but Bilby is his real name. The Bilby uses its snout to sniff and to poke for food. The star-nosed mole has 22 feelers on its nose. Do you think they make a star shape? The feelers help the mole find food. To eat, the mole moves some of them like fingers. These fish are clowns. Their name, clownfish, comes from their bright colors. They are swimming among the arms of a poisonous animal called an anemone. Little by little, the fish have become used to the anemone's poison. It does not hurt them. Here, they are safe. A baby kangaroo called a joey wants to cuddle up in its mother's pouch. 
how does it get in? First, the little kangaroo rests in front, paws on the pouch. Next, it pokes its head inside. It's dark in here, it must be saying. Once inside the pouch, the joey flips over by turning a somersault. It sticks its head out and looks around. For many months, the joey was tiny and helpless and couldn't leave its mother's pouch. Now it is big enough to go out on its own. Adelie penguins dive into icy waters in Antarctica. The birds do not fly. They swim quickly and dive to catch small sea creatures to eat. On the ice, an emperor penguin stays warm on its parents' feet. Two young male giraffes twist their necks together. They push and sway. Two young hippopotamuses rub their jaws. The giraffes and hippos are play fighting. They do not get hurt. Playing this way may help them learn to protect themselves when they grow up. The frilled lizard has a collar of skin called a frill. When the lizard feels safe, the frill lies flat. If an enemy comes near, the lizard opens up the frill like an umbrella. Now the lizard looks big and frightening. This may surprise an enemy so that it stands still for a moment. Then the lizard may have enough time to turn and run away. These animals seem to have built-in balloons. The male frigid bird blows up a big red sack on its throat to attract a male, to attract a mate. An ape called a siamang puffs up a throat sack too. Hoo, 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 he cries. The sack makes the sound louder, warning other siamangs to keep away. Hanging upside down, a small flying fox eats its dinner. The bat is enjoying a kind of fruit called a fig. First, the flying fox bites into the fig. Next, it pops the whole fig into its mouth. Both cheeks are stuffed as the bat chews. Gulp! The flying fox swallows and then licks its lips. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, we have one more picture left. A blue-footed booby, a tropical seabird, steps high in a dance. Boobies like this one live on some Pacific islands. This male is trying to attract a mate. 